Oh man, I got too much crap. Come on. Buy some of this stuff. Well, hello there, people. So that's uh, 90, 48 plus, wow, 50 plus 90. Hmm. Plus, you woke up at the perfect time, did you? <laughs> 40, 50, 80, 90, plus another 90. Mm. 180, 228, that's not enough. Darn it! We're not going to collect that uh, soybeans. What's going on, people? Oh, what the heck's going on? Spider stream at like 11, 11 a.m. What's up with that? I don't know. <sighs> Ooh, sleepy. Can we create, make any juice? Tomato juice? Apple juice? We don't have any tomato juice. We need uh, two cherry juice juice for the boat. So let's make some tomato juice. There we go. Make some yummy tomato juice. Blah! Barf. Disgusting. Isn't it? I don't like tomato juice. Do you guys like tomato juice? I sure don't. <laughs> ah. ah. Yes. So, what's uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, no, I did not hear about Halo 2 anniversary, and even if I did, I really wouldn't care. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not doing too bad. Finally, Emily's back at school today. Um, with her ear infection, she's feeling a bit better, but. Uh, apparently, she has the most disgusting antibiotics ever. <laughs> so she's not really like... She really doesn't like uh, taking them. It's called uh, Mobile Games. Why don't you check the title there, M191145 ACP. Huh? Do you, do you actually read before you just spout shit out? Sorry, but... <laughs> Read the title, guys. There's a stream title. It's there for a reason. Did you guys know that? Don't worry. We're being, we're gonna be uh, cycling through Clash of Clans. Like, there's no Boom Beach isn't on there. Um, you can only select one game, but I mean, with these types of games, you want to keep cycling between them, uh, just because there's a lot of downtime. So. Basically all Supercell games, so we're going to be playing uh, some Heyday, some, I'm going to be recording some stuff, some Heyday, Clash of Clans, as well as uh, Boom Beach. So yeah. <sighs> Ooh, it's me. Uh, no, I'm in a good mood, actually. Not in a bad mood. Not in a bad mood at all. Do, 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 do. This is not Boom Beach. This is Heyday right now. <clears throat> Actually, I forgot to go get uh, Spiderwife's uh, iPad. I'll have to do that in a second. We're going to be doing uh, custom zombies tonight. Probably. Good. Bye-bye. Here, let me help you out the door. <laughs> God. Well, when people come in and say, Hey, what's this S-H-I-T? When they can't even read the title then, uh, yeah, that's the way I'm going to respond. And if you think I'm a douche for responding to that in that manner, well, that's your opinion. People should be able to read, I thought, you know. Did we finish Nightfall last night? Yes. Wow, we did hit We did hit over 100,000 followers. Nice. Yes! Over 100k here on Twitch. Doesn't necessarily 
Um, doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna get a lot of viewers on any particular stream, but uh, we did did du we did play Dubai, but uh, there was an issue with it, so we gotta play it again. We must play Dubai again. We're gonna be doing uh, Clash of Clans as well as Heyday as well as Boom Beach, so. Yeah, I mean, be respectful when you come in. Like, jeez, don't come in all swearing and stuff at me. That's how you get banned. Right? It's just silliness. All right, so, yeah, we're just waiting. We're just trying to set up here. Um, I'm trying to do an achievement. I want to do an achievement guide here. Um... <gasps> Um, yeah, the achievement is for, here it is, where is it? Yeah, Hyper, Har Hyper, Hyper would like this one. Hyper Harvester number three, harvest 200 fields in 10 minutes. Problem is, so we've got our, uh, wheat set up. This isn't Farmville, by the way, so here, let me help you out the door too. There you go. Uh, you can change it for better quality. You can change it for better quality, uh, I think, on your end. I can't... There's not much I can do. I mean, I'm streaming in, I think, the best quality. Um, okay, yeah. So, Hyper Harvester. Uh, collect 200 fields in 10 minutes. Uh, problem is, we need somewhere to put all that stuff, right? So, you know, when we first harvest, we're going to get 80... 80 wheat, so we got to be able to hold into that, and then each additional harvest we're going to get another 40. So we have to have 240 basically slots available uh, between our silo storage, uh, our roadside shop, and anything that we might make on our farm here. So uh, I have to wait a little bit. I'm not. I want people to buy my stuff, first of all. So if you're playing uh, Clash of Clans, or not, I mean Heyday, and you see me uh, in the um, in the mail, right? You see me selling stuff? Come on over to my farm and buy it all, okay? <laughs> buy all this stuff. I need to get rid of it. I know, I'm trying to sell it, but nobody's buying Nobody's buying my stuff, so there's not much I can do, right? So I can try and sell, I'll sell some of the soybeans. And then, I don't know, I'm trying to sell a variety of stuff here so that people will buy it. But so yeah, we gotta kinda wait until people buy it, um, and then, yeah, I know, Thunder, I, it's, that's the case everywhere, that's fine. I mean, I don't mind helping them on their way out, right? <laughs> My prices are too high. No, 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 no. Always sell at max price. I know. I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Sell it for, uh, just to dump it. Yeah. Yeah, you want some bacon and eggs? Mmm, bacon and eggs. 604 gold coins. <laughs> bacon... It's not Canadian bacon, though. It's just a regular bacon. You see, I have a little, uh, my little kitty cat. Hello. Here. Let's call them over to their houses. We'll whistle them over to their, uh, dog and cat houses. Watch, they're gonna come running. Hey! Hi, little kitty cat. How are you today? Oh, you're so cute. Where's my doggy? There he is. Aww. Aw, look at him. Don't poop on my grass. I just cut it. And it's kind of clean, although it's not very clean down here. There he goes. Yeah, I know, I know. I should sell it cheap, but too late. I don't like selling it cheap because that's like throwing money away. And I usually sell it all eventually. But yeah, I agree. I should probably sell it for cheaper. You can't, uh, you can't adjust the price. You can edit it, but you have to use diamonds to edit it. So it's kind of silly. What? 
<laughs> Bacon and eggs. How do, you, how do you like this? We got the roasted tomatoes going on in here. Mmm. Roasted tomatoes. It's funny, though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to play some uh, Clash of Clans. I know, I know. Totally, right? The Strange Addiction. Uh, I'm totally a money guy, and I can't sell it for less. It's like, it, it's, it's going against my... I don't know. It's like going against my genes to sell it for less than than max money. Um, <laughs> so yeah, spider cat and spider dog exactly. So I can't. I physically can't. You know, unless it's the kids, because uh, Emily and Sydney will come on and, Dad, I need this. Can you sell it to me for one gold? And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> I actually have a hard time with it, but I do do it. I do do it. Um, but other than that, other than that, then, uh, I'll sell it for max price always. I got my, uh, fishing area, um, I bought the, uh, the boat, the fishing boat, but it takes three days. It takes three days for the fishing area to open up once you buy the boat for 39,000 gold. So I gotta wait two and a half, more than two and a half days. Well, two days, 14 hours. That kind of sucks. You have to wait for all this stuff. That's uh, that's the nice thing about having multiple Supercell games because you can switch back and forth, right? We can play this, then we can go over to uh, Clash of Clans, then we can go over to Boom Beach, and then by the time we're done those, then we can come back. Come on, Joyous, buy everything else. Why are you only buying one thing? All right, so how much do we have to sell here? So we've got two th 233, so let's say 240, so we got 60 plus 50. So we get 110. 110 available in our silo. Um, if we make, I have one, two, three, four, five, six slots times two. So I have 12 slots in my feed mill and I can make, I can get rid of four items. So what's uh, 12 times four is 48. Plus 48. So 110 plus 48. And then we have 10, 20, oops, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100. Okay, so so we're good. We're good. We have uh, 258 slots available. We only need 240. So I'm going to start recording and we'll record us getting our achievements and getting some more diamonds. Yay, I love diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. All right, so let's uh, let's set up a recording here. Do, 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 do. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go to the dairy now. We're gonna go to the house now and hit X now. What's up, guys? Spideris here with uh, Heyday. Yes, Spideris. I'm calling myself Spide Spideris today. And we're going to do a little uh, achievement guide here on Heyday. And the achievement guide, or the achievement that we're going to be talking about, is our Hyper Harvester number three. Harvest 200 fields in 10 minutes. Now, I do have the, um, just some information. I did have it up. Uh, you can't you can't do this, I believe, until you get to level 25. I believe level 25 is when you are able to put down uh, a total of 42 fields. So right now, I mean, we're obviously at a higher level. We're at level 31, but at level tw uh, 25 is when you have the ability to have more than 40 fields. You're going to need 40 fields at least in order to be able to do this. Okay. So what I've done, you can see my wheat fields here are set up. There are exactly 40 fields. My extra fields I put over to the side. I've got some soybeans over here and some chili peppers growing, right? Okay, so that's prerequisite number one. And then make sure, obviously, that your fields are full. They don't have to ha uh, be uh, wheat right away. I mean, you can have whatever you want at initially, but you have to be able to plant at least 40 wheat. So make sure... If, um, like right now, I have, it's all wheat, so I'm going to end up with 80 once I harvest. But if you don't have wheat, just make sure that you have 40 available so that once you do farm your crops, uh, then you can lay down and plant 40 
a total of 40 or four or more uh, wheat, okay? Because you're going to need to do it five times. So once we begin to to um, start this challenge, we got to do it in 10 minutes. We're going to be harvesting five times. So the first uh, time we're going to harvest, we're going to harvest the 40 fields, and then our timer is going to start, right? So we're going to do that five times. By the time the eight-minute mark comes, or approximately uh, just after eight minutes, that's when we're going to get our achievement and our last uh, harvest. Okay. So one other, uh, or, yeah, one other prerequisite is that you have to have uh, available space for all the wheat that you're going to harvest, right? So if we look at my silo, I have right now uh, 117, right, 117 available slots for har to store my wheat that I'm going to harvest. So that's not enough. You need 240, right? You need 240 in total. So I've got 117 there. If we go to my roadside shop, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 slots available, so that's another 100. So give me 210. Um, and then what I'm going to do also is that I can create feed. I can put feed into my feed mill. I have six available slots. Uh, Q slots available on both of my feed mills and if you look at some um, I mean most of the the uh, feed that you can produce takes up th a total of three uh, slots like two you know two carrots and one soybean for the pig feed you've got one uh, corn and two soybean for the cow feed so I can create uh, start producing some of this stuff and it's going to take up those additional slots so I'm going to be able to farm everything, right? Um, and if you want to look at the sheep feed, the sheep feed takes up four. So that's a total of 48. If I, if I just create 12, time, you know, 12 uh, sheep feed in the feed mills, then it's going to take up 48 slots. So that's enough, all right? So just make sure before you start, you have to have play, a place that you can store your products. And what I'm probably going to do is just, as we're going along here, is just dump some of this wheat on my roadside shop for like one gold or whatever the minimum gold is uh, instead of going to the maximum amount of gold, which I typically do because that's just who I am and that's in my genes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start by farming all this wheat and then we're going to replant as soon as possible. So let's do this. Brah. Wheat. And then we're going to plant all their wheat. And we have begun, okay? So now, I'm going to go on here. We're going to dump some wheat. We're going to do it for 10. Where's my wheat? Where's my wheat? All right. So we don't need any more wheat. All right. Okay, so we've gotten rid of 40. Hopefully, somebody can come over and buy some of that wheat for 10 gold. I should have put it on for, like, 1 gold, but that's okay. Like I said, we have enough available slots to, to start doing this stuff. And um, I don't really... Yeah, I need some sheep feed, so I'm going to start... Oh, oh yeah, we don't have any wheat. <laughs> we just sold it all. Let's do it the second time, okay? We'll do the second time. So we just have to wait uh, another minute, 11 seconds here. Now, if something does come up to be able uh, for me to be able to produce here, which I don't think is going to happen within the 10 minutes then that's going to take additional product and open up some more uh, space. Oh, here we go. We can make a uh, raspberry muffin. It's only going to take up two, two wheat, which we do have. So there we go. And look at that. Somebody bought something from our roadside. So we have another 10 slots. Yes. Okay. So we've got uh, another 40 seconds here. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah. People are buying. See? You set, you set it for uh, a lower price than max, and then people want to just buy that stuff up. That's how you, you dump weed onto the market. Just like that. All right, this is just like real world, right? You uh, <laughs> you, uh, you you just take your, your wheat, you dump it onto the market, and the prices go down. Everybody's Everybody else's price has to go down because you're just dumping your product onto the market. I love it. I love it. Just like a real world. This is real this is real life right here. Real life. Real life with spider on the farm. Alright, so there's our second harvest. Alright, and plant it down. Like I said, you have you have about two minutes and like an extra two minutes because it's not it's only going to take us eight minutes. So we do have an extra two minutes in order to be able to do this. And if you look at um, the achievement, it tracks your progress, right? So hyper hyper harvests are three. We're already at eighty one. 
I'm not sure. I must have had that extra one before we started. Okay. So then we're going to dump some more wheat onto the markets. Drive the prices down. There we go. And we got some sheep feed. How much do we need? We need... Uh, there. Do one more here. And yeah, we need some more wheat. All right. So we just have to wait wait out the, the two minutes. It's two minutes to uh, fully produce our wheat. We'll check our hyper harvester. We're still at eighty one because we haven't <laughs> we haven't harvested anymore since the last time we checked, right? I mean, I could go and har oh, you know what? Where that one came from? I accidentally harvested my one crop of soybeans right there. My bad. Here, let me move this over so we don't do that again. Okay, sorry, I failed. My soybeans got in the way. That's where the one came from. Darn it. Don't shoot the cow with the Thompson. I will try not to. Is there a hidden Thompson on here? I don't know if you guys are watching this and, and know, know me from uh, zombies videos. <laughs> There's a hidden Thompson everywhere. Okay, so 22 seconds left. Not doing too bad. Should uh, call over our little kitty cat and doggy. We'll go. We'll go uh, take a look at them during the next intermission between our harvests. Come on, wheats grow faster. Where's the plant food? Okay, two seconds. One second, and there we go. Now that my soybeans are out of the way, we won't accidentally farm the soybeans. Okay, plant some more wheat. And seeing as we're selling some in our roadside, um, I don't have to do all sheep feed, so I can do other feed that I actually need. So sheep, um, so let's get some cow feed. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and then we'll do the rest on the chicken feed. Always need chicken feed. I mean, the, the, they produce eggs. Those chickens, man, they hatch those eggs like crazy. It's insane. All right, and then we sold some more, so let's... Uh, Put this on for sale. Now we're going to go max price, though. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 Because I think we're good. I think we have enough space. We don't need uh, We don't need to dump it on the market anymore. And that's just me. i got to sell it for as high a price as possible. There we go. Okay. Why could we only... Oh, yeah. Why did we only sell five? Oh, we sold minimum. Ah! Darn it. We didn't sell ten. Oh, well. That's all right. Yeah, we put up five for sale a couple of times cool all right let's check our progress here we should be at 101 121 there we go 121 so we've got um two more harvests to go here another 40 seconds okay we, we said we we're gonna go take a look at uh, my cat and dog there's my kitty cat that's a tabby cat right if we look at uh cats yes the tabby cat and the golden retriever they get along. They get along pretty well too. Go eat your. Go drink your milk. Go drink your milk. And then you, you feed the uh, the tabby cat milk, and then you feed the retriever bacon. He's got some bacon right there, but he's not eating it. And the thing is, it's cool because you can feed them, and then uh, they eat, and then they go to sleep, and then you can wake them up. You you tap on them to wake them up, and they give you XP. I think the dog gives you thirty, and the cat gives you twenty, something like that. Okay, here we go. This is our second last harvest. Ooh. Come on. Get that wheat down. Okay, hopefully, I think we did this fast enough. Okay, so, yeah, once this is done, another two minutes, once this is done, we should be good. Let's check our progress. Hyper Harvester, we're at 161, so we need 40, well, technically 39, because I made a mistake and got that extra field right there. Which I should replant with, uh, with uh, soybeans, because I don't like having my uh, fields not growing anything. It's kind of a waste, right? And uh, then we'll have it. And the nice thing about it, I mean, it's good to complete these because they give you additional, obviously XP, but also diamonds. So once I get those diamonds, I'll have ten, and then I can go over to my juice press because I just, I just got my juice press yesterday. And I can get an extra slot, a Q slot, for the juice press. 
And I like to spend my diamonds right away. Like, I don't like to accumulate them because invariably you just hit them by accident when you're farming. And there's no warning. If I hit that one diamond right there, it's going to produce that wheat right away. Uh, it's not going to say, are you sure you want to use a diamond? No, it's... Uh, it, uh, it just uses it right away, and then I end up using a bunch that I don't really want to. So nowadays, I just immediately, as soon as I have enough for an extra Q slot, I spend it right away. So that's what we're going to do on my juice press. I was making cherry juice right now and some tomato juice. Yum. Actually, I don't like, to, I don't like cherry juice or tomato do, juice. I don't know why I'm producing it. <laughs> Okay, so we've got 16 seconds to go here. Come on. And we should make it. We should be just in time. I can do the, the two finger. The two. I'll try and do the two finger uh, farm here. You don't have to click on the, the, the sickle. You can do a two finger thing. Uh, maybe not. Let's click on the sickle. I don't want to mess this up. Come on. Hyper Harvester, yeah! Hyper Harvester 3, achievement unlocked. Sweet. And let's claim our reward. 360 XP, 3 diamonds. Excellent. And then go over there and spend our diamonds right away. There's our extra Q slot. And uh, that's it. So that's how you get the uh, Hyper Harvester number 3. You can get the other ones in similar fashion. You just need the appropriate number of fields. But uh, in order to do the third one, you need 40 fields, and you don't get 40 fields until I believe it's level 25, where you then have 42 fields in order to complete the achievement. And that's how you do it. So that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the heyday content here on NGT Mobile Gaming, because we're going to be bringing you more. If you don't enjoy it, just don't watch those videos. Just watch the other ones, right? It's all about choice. Okay? Speederis or Spy Terrace is out. Don't worry guys, we're going to be doing other games. I, I, when I'm recording specifically for a video, then yes, I will be less interactive with you guys. Alright, so I'm just going to move my uh, stuff back here. Uh, oops. I mean to move it there. There we go. Oops, farm this stuff. Now, how much uh, wheat do I have? 126. Let's sell some of this. Max price, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to Clash of Clans right now. Actually, we're doing some uh, single player stuff over on Clash of Clans. It's just a chill stream, guys. Let's relax. I'll talk to you guys. The uh, thing is about uh, talking to you guys too is that there's such a delay on the stream. So, you know, I could be answering a question, you won't, you won't, uh... Well, how do I level up so fast? You know what? Watch all my heyday videos and do what I do. Do what I, what I'm saying in the videos, do what I'm suggesting, and you will level up as fast as I am, okay? I level up quickly because I do, I do things efficiently and I use things how they should be used, right? Like the diamonds. Um, let's do some soybeans here. I'm just planting some stuff before we go. Oh no, oh no, there's one field that's rotated. <laughs> you notice all my fields are, are aligned horizontally? Every single one of them are aligned horizontally. Because when you place them down, it's sort of, uh, random if they're horizontal or vertical like that so i line them all horizontally <laughs> uh yeah like the uh the diamond video that i posted last night right i mean don't use your dime don't use your diamonds for anything other than q slots that's very important stuff like that uh the layout of your farm is important what you you know what you do opening up your q slots so that when you're sleeping or when you're at school you're still producing stuff, right? Laying out your farm so that you can produce what you need um, more efficiently. So just stuff like that. That's how I'm, that's basically how I'm leveling up and ranking up as quickly as I am. That's the same thing we did in Clash of Clans. 
<laughs> What's it called? OCD? I know, right? Okay, so uh, let's go over to Clash. Um, I'm not sure. I might re reopen the uh, the clan at some point. I don't know when. I just don't want to, you know. Yeah, we we definitely don't have a lot of people in here anymore, but. The thing is, like, we've got 26 people, including Spider Wife, which is my other account. Uh, the thing is, they all sort of get along. A lot of them aren't active anymore, but... Um, the, the thing is, we run into problems when people request troops, and new people... New people uh, come in and, you know, like, let's look at a troop request, right? Dragon or P.E.K.K.A. or Witch or Wizards or Archers, right? So, Zurg here. But... When, invariably, we get new people in, and they send them freaking wall breakers. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, some of these guys, some of these guys don't really care what they get. They just said, "Hey, I need reinforcement troops." Uh, but I really don't want to get people, new people in, and then they start just sending crap troops that aren't requested, and then I get complaints, and then I gotta kick people out. I don't want to have to deal with that. At this point, I mean, I may open it up at some point in the future again, but it's just more a pain in the ass than anything. Does that make sense? All right. Oh, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some single-player stuff on Clash. Now, what I'll usually do is I'll look at these bases. Now, see what I'm trying to do is try to use the minimalist army that I can in attacking these single player bases. Um, and I've managed to I've managed to take every single base using only like so far using only barbarians, archers, uh, wall breakers and balloons. That's it. That's it. I haven't used giants, I haven't used anything else. So far, and we're on bait and switch, which is number. What what single player mission is it? Number thirty nine. So this is number thirty nine out of fifty. Yeah, you can have a co leader now, but I don't. I don't really want to put that kind of power into the hands of anybody that's in that are in in the clan right now. Because the co leader can just kick everybody out. And that's happened before in other clans. Where, you know, you make people elders or co-leaders or whatever, and then, oh, yeah, I just kicked everybody out of the clan. That kind of sucks. So, I don't know. I just don't want to do that. Oh. Okay, so. We have this base here. Now, I'm thinking all we have to do is take out the air defenses and then send in a balloon. But we have to distract the cannons and the mortars so that we can bring in archers to take out the air defense. I mean, we could use we could use a couple of wall breakers and then send in barbarians, but I don't think that's really necessary. Uh, uh, maybe we could. It might be a little a little bit easier than using archers to take out the. Uh, but that's eight thousand. Whereas I think we can do it better just by distracting the cannons and, and the uh, the mortars and then bringing in archers to take out the uh, the air defenses. No, no, razor, razor, razor. The whole point is to use to use minimal um, a minimal army. Are you kidding me? Three level five heal spells. Okay, so if I go three level five heal spells, and right, what's the heal spell? That's rage. Okay, so that's gonna cost me sixty six thousand, sixty six thousand elixir just for the spells, and then you know the hog riders are gonna cost me what? 45 times however many I create like that's just insane whereas I can use my army and 
use maybe like less than less than 20,000 elixir total and still take the base. Does that make sense? No, there's no there are no Teslas on this map. There are no Teslas on this one. So, I'm going to uh just record. I'm not recording live commentary or anything, but Mm. Right, and and then this is obviously provided so that people can can complete these without having to have those those troops. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is that we use some barbarians to distract the um, so three on each side. Let's do this. And then send in a bunch of archers to take out the air defense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Just not enough, not enough. There we go, okay. So I think we need four, four of these guys. So we'll do, uh... One, two, three, four. And then we'll send in these guys. Okay. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, archers, come on, archers. Come on, archers, take out the air defense, take out the air defense, take out the air defense! There we go. Okay, and then uh, one balloon. That's it. So see what I mean? Like, see what we got away with. Such a minimal army and how much we spent, how much elixir we spent to create that army. And that's the whole point of this, uh, my playthroughs on the single player. Is, um, is trying to, to take out the base with using... As smallest in our as small an army as possible, and without the uh, barbarian king, because again, you might have people on town hall level seven or six or whatever trying to do these, um, and maybe they don't have the barbarian king or whatever. But again, just trying to use as few troops as possible, and then we just gotta wait for the uh, the balloon to take them out, oh, and then we can look at the next base. So that's bait and switch. Collateral damage is the next one. Uh, yeah, we have uh, a wizard tower. We have an archer tower and air defense. I think we can take out. We'll we'll take a look at that base here. I won't take a look at it yet until we bring it up on the uh, screen for you guys. Oh, the, yeah, sure, Razor. I mean, the last few bases are going to be nuts. I'm for sure I'm going to need some different different things. Um, but until that point in time, I'm not going to, to use the, the higher level troops. You know, there will be a time for sure. I mean, I've taken a look at a couple of the, the higher level, you know, when you're getting closer to 50, for sure. But uh, at this point in time, we don't need it. I'll use them when we need them. <laughs> and I'd really hate to cheese it with frickin' hog riders, too. But I don't know. That's the thing. I mean, when people start doing that with the hog riders, um, you know they're, they're you know they're OP. Even even though they increase the um, the cost, I think they increase the cost by like thirty percent. Even even though they increase the cost by thirty percent. Um, it, they're, they're still pretty powerful. And no, I didn't get a haircut, I just, I'm not wearing my headset, so I kind of look a little bit different when I'm not wearing my headset. <laughs> Come on, finish up balloon! Like I said, I mean, you could use more troops to, uh, to, uh, make this go faster, but it's unnecessary. And to think we're on, um, I think this base is still 100,000, 100,000, right? Yeah, bait and switch is 100,000, 100,000. So. Yes, Canada has Tim Hortons. <laughs> Come on, one more bomb there, balloon, balloon guy. So is it 3,000 for balloon or 4,000? So if you look at that, we spent, let's assume it's 4,000. We spent 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 
Probably about 7,000 elixir. 7,000 elixir compared to your 66,000 elixir plus several, you know, I don't know, several hundred dark elixir. So I think we did fairly well. Sweet. Okay, so that was 39, right? 39. Let's got to make sure I uh, f name my files here. Uh, SP39. Okay, cool. So before I train any more troops, because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to need for the next base, let's go take a look at it. So that's collateral damage. I got, um, I'm just looking at some images too that show you where the traps are as well. Because we have some, um, some traps right by the, right by this, uh, yeah, you can't see it. There are traps right by this, uh, elixir, sto elixir storage right outside the walls. And there are traps, the springboards, three springboards, and there are three springboards, uh, out beside this air defense. Uh, and there are also a couple of springboards just inside the main entrance. So, this is, I'm not gonna, I'm not recording this just yet. I'm just gonna trial this. So if we send in a couple of these guys. Get rid of the spring traps. Uh, I don't care about the spring traps on this other side. And then... What we'd probably have to do is the same thing we did on the last base. One, two, three, four, and then bring these guys in. So a distraction for the mortars and uh, everything else. So hopefully the mortars don't... Wow, the mortar took that guy out. So we should bring in three more. Okay, so we're going to have to probably distract them with a few more barbarians on this one. And then the same thing on this side. There we go. Okay, so that was enough. And then if we send in a balloon, I don't know if he's going to be able to take this guy out. So what I'm going to do is send in a distraction first. So the wizard tower fires at the barbarians and hopefully the balloon will be able to take them out. Yeah. Okay. So that's the way to do it. Right there. Okay. I think we got it. Yeah, the barbarians. The barbarians are just <laughs> just fodder. Um, okay. So let's um, train a couple of balloons here. And then we get uh, we got to train some barbarians. A bunch of barbarians. How much time do we have? 751. 755. Oops. Alright. Uh, and then... So that's 48, and then train some of these guys. So 8. 8. 8, and then 5. 923 and 7 7 7 There we go. All right, so it's going to take about 10 minutes for these guys to train. Actually, we reduce that guy and put one there. There. Cool. So that's the thing. Now we got to wait. Now we can switch back. Uh, no, I put my archers to the same place. Don't worry. Like, the, the whole point is to, um, I, I, I yeah, I, I understand that. So the, the, uh, the mortars don't take them out. So I can split them up. I'll split them up into twos. I'll, I'll split. I don't have anything to spend my elixir on. There's nothing in my base. Everything is upgraded. Except for my walls. And my research. And the only research I can do is with dark elixir. So I have nothing to spend my elixir on. <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll split the archers into two groups so that they don't get taken out right away by the uh, the mortars. Do, 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 do. 
You're right. The whole intent was to try and uh, get them to take out the uh, the defenses.